Good morning, children. In previous class, uh, from the chapter real numbers, we completed uh, in the second uh, concept uh, irrational numbers. In the type one problems, we completed. What are those? Finding the value of root two, finding the value of root three, and finding the value of root five like that. Okay. So today we are going to or uh, discuss on type two problems that is uh, representation of irrational numbers on number line representation of <coughs> Number line. So in that uh, example one is represent root two on the number line. So we have to. represent the root 2 on the number line so how to represent uh, on the number line first uh, all of you knew about the number line so what is uh, number line when you saw how it is it is a horizontal line it is uh, center or origin zero from origin to towards uh, right side all are positive values all are positive values 1 2 3 4 and so on from zero to towards the left side all are negative values minus 1 Minus two, minus three, and so on. So we need to represent irrational number on the number line. And already we knew that how to represent a rational number on the number line. And uh, if you want to represent a rational number, for example, represent a root two, uh, represent a two on the number line means where is two here? Here. So. This is the representation of rational number on the number line. But here, representation of root two on the number line. That means, so what is the value of root two? Already we did in the previous class. Up to three decimal places, we got one point four one four. Am I right? So that means the value of root two lies between one and two. One and two. That means. The value of root two means what? One point four one four means it lies between one and two. That means uh, here in this uh, space, okay, root two will be in the space of one and two between one and two. So let's see here how to represent it. Okay. So we have a conclusion. We have a clarity that it lies between one and two. We knew it. Okay. So how to represent? First, we have to draw a square of one unit. A square of one unit. That means from here. Let's say here O, Y, B. C, O A B C is a square on the number line. We draw a square of one unit. The square is O A B C is a square. So here O A one unit, A B one unit, B C one unit, 
CO one unit. So that means here it is a square OMBC which is one unit square. Okay. First we have to draw OABC square. Okay. Now you can join OB. Now you can join OB. Let's see if you observe exactly that uh, figure. What can you say about angle A? It makes how much? Exactly right angle 90 degrees. Do you understand? Which makes 90 degrees angle. So if you observe exactly here, this O A B is a right angle triangle. It is a right angle triangle. Do you understand? So now we know that what we know that. We know that in a right angle triangle, by using Pythagoras theorem, what is that condition? Hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square. That means opposite side square plus adjacent side square. That means it is the opposite side for the uh, hypotenuse. For this hypotenuse, it is the opposite side and it is the uh, adjacent side. So we have a condition that is by using Pythagoras theorem. Hypotenuse square is nothing but uh, is equal to squares of the sum of the remaining two sides. Okay. So hypotenuse square. What is hypotenuse here? This is hypotenuse. That means OB. So OB square is equal to what is side? OA. OA square plus another side is AB so AB square ok now we have to substitute OB square is equal to OA square OA square means so what is the length of OA 1 unit substitute here 1 square plus similarly AB is how much 1 so 1 square so 1 square plus 1 square 1 square means 1 plus 1 square means 1. 1 plus 1, 2. That means here OB square is equal to 2. So OB is equal to root 2. OB is equal to root 2. That means here the length of OB, the length of OB is how much? Root 2. That means it is the root 2 ok did you understand so now by using compass now by using compass with the radius of this hypotenuse with the radius of this hypotenuse now you can draw an arc from OB B2 on the number line on the number line what happens here when you draw by using compass, it touches, it intersects, that arc touches the number line at a particular place which is root 2, which is root 2. That is a representation of root 2 on the number line. Did you understand? Once again, listen carefully here. And it is important for 2 marks, sometimes you will ask 4 marks also, ok? So, listen be carefully. Here, this type 2 problem is representation of irrational numbers on number line. So, he asked us the question, represent root 2 on the number line. First of all, all of we knew about the number line, am I right? We knew all about the number line. When you draw a number line, when we take the middle of the number line is 0, which is called as origin. So, from that 0 to 
towards right side all are positive values and 0 to 2 watts left side all are negative values so on that number line we have to represent an irrational number root 2 already we knew that how to represent a rational number on the number line okay but now here we are discussing on irrational number okay so before going to represent the root 2 on number line first we have to take a square this one unit square we took one unit square okay here it is 0 0 1 so here o a b c is a one unit square on the number line okay it is positive root 2 here we took positive value root 2 so that is why we took on the positive if you took if you take a negative value then we have to draw this side that square did you understand but here we are going to represent positive value of root 2 so that is why we took that square on the positive session okay so now here o a b c is a square which is one unit square okay so now here o a is one unit and a b is one unit b c one unit c d c o one unit now we have to draw o b which is a diagonal for that square okay so when you observe exactly this square here this o a b is a, is a, a right angle triangle this o a b is a right angle triangle so we have a condition already we knew that pythagoras theorem by using pythagoras theorem we have a condition that is hypotenuse square is nothing but uh, sum of the squares of the remaining two sides that means hypotenuse square is nothing but equal to side square plus side square that's why what we wrote here ob square this hypotenuse square ob square is equal to uh, side square o a square plus another side square a b square so we have to substitute values o b square is equal to 1 square plus 1 square that means 1 plus 1 that means 2 o b square equal to 2 o b is nothing but equal to we will get how much root 2 so that means the length of this o b is how much root 2 so we have to draw an arc by taking the radius of o b okay by using compass take a compass and uh, with the radius of ob ob as a radius now you can draw an arc from o on number line like this then the arc touches the number line between 1 and 2 which is uh, root 2 did you understand this is the way to represent uh, an irrational number on the number line. So, this is the representation of root 2 on the number line. Do you understand? Write down this process and draw that. Okay. So, at the completion of that, write down next question. Represent root 3 on the number line. So, now we are going to represent root 3 on the number line. So, how to represent root 3? Okay. The process is same. Right. 
So let's see here. Again, we have to draw a number line. Zero, one, two, three, four, minus one, minus two, minus three. Now again we have to draw a unit square O A B C O A B C and already we knew that uh, length of O B is equal to root of two. Okay. So now, again, what we have to do? We need a root three. Okay. So now, what I am doing here? See, from this B, I am going to draw a line segment of length one unit again. A line segment of length one unit again from B, which makes exactly ninety degrees. That means we have to try a perpendicular line segment to OB with one unit. Okay. Let's say it is a take D. Okay. Now we can join this OD. Now we can join this OD. Did you understand what I did here? Already what we did in Uh, representation of root two. As it is, we took one unit square O A B C, and we know that O B how much we got already root two. So from B we have to draw a line segment of length one unit here, which makes uh, exactly right angle ninety degrees. Do you understand? So now. We have to join this body, body. So now we need to find out the length of the body. So again, say, what is that first? Draw a unit square. O A B C. First, we have to draw a unit square. O A B C. After that, already we know that. Already we know that O B is equal to root of two. Already we did previously. So, if you want to do directly, you can do uh, the process. What is that? So, let's see here. O A B C. Let's do the total problem. Okay. So draw a unit square O A B C. Later join. What is that? O B. Now from triangle O A B. O B square is equal to O A square plus A B square. So from this, how much we will get? O B square is equal to one square plus one square. That is equal to one plus one. That is equal to root two. O B equal to O B square equal to two. That means O B square O B is equal to root two. We will get root two units. So length of O B we got. Okay. Now now. Draw BD is equal to one unit BD equal to one unit uh, which makes ninety degrees at B which makes ninety degrees at B. Now we can join. What is that? Word. Join word. So if you observe exactly, now it is a triangle OBD. 
okay now from triangle o b d here angle b is equal to 90 degrees now by using pythagoras theorem our uh, here hypotenuse is od okay so od square is equal to sum of the remaining two sides what are those ob square plus bd square plus bd square now we have to add od square is equal to ob square what is ob root 2 whole square plus what is uh, bd 1 square that is equal square root get cancelled then the remaining 2 plus 1 so OD square is equal OD is equal to 2 plus 1 3 OD square is equal so now we get OD equal to how much root 3 so that means the length of OD is how much root 3 units the length of this OD equal to how much root 3 units so we got root 3 now again same process what is that by using compass with the radius of OD now you can draw a draw an arc ok draw an arc so where it intersects on the number line which is root 3 that is the representation of root 3 on the number line did you understand so what is the value of root 3 actually 1.732 something yesterday we get am i right so 1.7 that means it lies between 1 and 2 compulsory it lies between 1 and 2 did you understand so we got the representation on between on the number line between 1 and 2 or not yes did you understand so this is the representation of root 3 on the number line so once again listen be carefully here what we did this process we have to remember that is important okay so first we have to draw a number line on that number line we have to draw a square OABC with the unit 1 one unit square we have to draw so from that OB we need to find out which is a diagonal for that OABC square so we know that OB square is equal to, I mean here OB is acts as a hypotenuse when we take a triangle OAB which is right angle, okay. So OB square is equal to OA square plus AB square. When we substitute the values of OA and AB in this, we will get the value of OB as how much root 2. So length of OB is equal to root 2, okay. Now again what we did here? From B, we have to draw a perpendicular line segment with one unit like this. Okay. Then, what happened here? We have to join OD. So, if you observe exactly OBD, here it is 90 degrees, no perpendicular line segment, no. So, that is why it is looks like a right angle triangle, no OBD at a right angle letter B. So, by using that Pythagoras theorem again. OD square is nothing but equal to OB square plus BD square. When we substituted the values root 2 square plus 1 square, then we will get OD square is equal to 2 plus 1, OD equal to 3. That means OD square equal to 3. That means OD equal to root 3. So that is the value of root 3. So now we have to draw an arc from that by using compass with the radius of OD. Did you understand? With the radius of OD as a radius, you have to draw an arc. Then what happens? It touches the number line between 1 and 2 at a particular point, at a certain point, which is root 3. So this is the representation of root 3 on the number line. Did you understand? So based on this, if any problems are if any problem in your textbook exercise, then you, you have to do it as a homework. Do you understand? Right on.
ओके सो टुडे वी कंप्लीटेड टाइप टू इन रिलेशनल नंबर्स टाइप टू प्रॉब्लम्स व्हिच आर बिलोंग्स टू रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ रिलेशनल नंबर्स ऑन द नंबर लाइन सो नेक्स्ट क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन फाइंडिंग एन इरेशनल नंबर आर 1 आर 2 ओके 1 आर 2 आर 3 यानी नंबर ऑफ रेशनल नंबर्स बिटवीन टू इरेशनल नंबर्स डू यू अंडरस्टैंड थैंक यू